You know the rules. You drive by a D1 football stadium, you see if you can walk on the field. Today I'm taking a nice morning stroll across the Brazos River, which brings us to McLean Stadium at Baylor University. Let's get after it, Bears. Let's take a stroll down the Bear Walk until we get to our first entrance. I'm very tempted to hop on some of these Baylor boats right now for some sailgating. Winding down the Bear Walk, we come across this nice logo built into the concrete and the only statue I'm seeing out front of RG3. That's a good looking setup they made for our guy. We're looking pretty locked up at main entrance, but we're gonna get a pretty good view of the field right off the jump. Maybe one yellow fence away from a really good view. But lucky for us, we're gonna get a better view of the field because this walk-on challenge is not gonna take long. Second gate that I go to, clearly unlocked. Let's push this open and get in here. Could not draw this up any better. Let's walk right onto the field. Get the yellow turf in the end zone, sure thing. Made it on. Let's take in a full view of the horseshoe while we're staying in this end zone here. One thing McLean Stadium does really well is if you watch a lot of football in Texas, you know how critical this shade is. This stadium was just built in 2014 and the guys putting it together clearly knew what was necessary for a stadium out here. Along this side of the stadium, if you notice that these front seats are gold, that is for the Baylor line that comes out onto the field before the game. And it's just first year students in the Baylor line too, so it's gotta be one of the only programs where the new people are getting the best seats. The one concern now that I'm down on the field though is I'm not seeing any entrances that go up into the stands. I might need to get creative here. Will this tunnel take us there? Nope. Seems like that's locked up. Too bad. How about yourself? Um, I was just kind of walking around campus. I saw a gate open. I'm a content creator that films different facilities across the country, and I saw an opportunity to check out the, the Diggs and McLean Stadium. Do you mind if I hang out and shoot a few things? That, that's not totally not up to me to do. That's totally up to somebody else. They just sent me out here to come get you off of the field. Okay. It sets off the centers when you hit anywhere past the, whatever the hell their line is right here. That okay. They have. Um, I don't know why that would be a problem. You just got to go through the proper channels um, to could be able I, to do it. So could I get it sent to the proper channels? Where would that be? Yeah, we can go do that. Sure, thank you. Well, that's a first. To go through the proper channels that this lady stated, I got sent to the presidential lobby and received a business card. And that business card is for the director of operations at McLean Stadium. I actually think I see security walking over right now. It's my job to make sure you don't get on the field. <laughs> and it's my I think my security caught you. Yeah. It's my job to make sure you don't get on the field, but I love your stuff. Make me look good, okay. I'll take you on tour. Perfect. Whatever you want to do. We'll walk you down to the field. I know you already were down there. Yeah. Put your feet on and I'll take you to the locker room. But just make me look good, all right? Sure. All right, come on. Well, sorry for the small interruption, but you heard the man. Time for a tour. Being at a private school, I fully understand how quickly this could go south as Baylor wanted it to. So I am very appreciative that I'm getting on this tour right now. Not taking this one for granted. We're going to start this off in the founder's lobby. First spot we're going to is towards the suites and right on this level, we have a set up. Strolling through here, we have showcased all the different Baylor helmets that have been worn through the years. I still think these gold ones are the nicest. Sometimes getting a little extra help isn't too bad because we're gonna go to the locker room this time around. These are just the game only locker rooms and from the few game only locker rooms I've seen, this is pretty neat. They're exactly in the shape of a football and this goes 50 yards long. And down here, we're going to the recruit lounge. Getting toured around here, I do kind of feel like a recruit right now. So this little area right here is for recruits to hang out, get some concessions, and watch the game. Might have been hard to tell from that first shot, but we're right next to the field. It's right past these curtains. So here's a fun little tidbit I was just told. On recruiting trips, these four TVs will usually have PlayStations and Xboxes set up at them. But during warmups, that's a trap. The coaches are looking to see if you're playing video games or watching the warm-ups. So if you're a Baylor recruit, don't screw that one up. Look at how fun this walkway is. Look at all the balloons set up just for the recruits to walk down and have a good time. Here we are getting into media level. Nothing super crazy going on up here. I was surprised when I came in that there's not bleachers in the end zone, but with the view of the river like that, I understand why. 
Here's the view of McLean Stadium from the highest seat level I'm gonna get to. The stadium doesn't go as high up as some of the ones that I've been to. A niche thing that I really love, close paint into stairs. We need more of that. I would check out club level, but it's actively a restaurant even when Baylor's not playing and we got lunch going on right now. But on the other side of the club level, we got these nice loge boxes we can check out over here. This from what I can tell is the nicest spot to watch a game. You got some TVs here, some fridges here, tables, plenty of open seating. Not a bad seat. Enjoy this great view of Waco. From what I'm told, it's the best there is. And on the other side of that, we have Foster Pavilion, the brand new Baylor basketball arena opening up in January. I'm not always able to walk all the way out to the 50, but now since I'm on a personal tour, why don't we do that? Thanks for having me, Baylor. Appreciate y'all.